ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस यू सीवियर वेलकम टू पार्ट सेवन ऑफ अवर क्रैश कोर्स जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन डी बग या सिंपल जावा स्क्रिप्ट प्रोग्राम ओके सो वी आर गोइंग आई वांट टू शो यू इन टू वेज बट लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई हैव सो आई हैव अ बेसिक एच टी एम एल नथिंग बट जस्ट सम टेक्स्ट एंड देन आई एम लिंकिंग मेन डॉट जे एस हियर एंड इन सेट द मेन डॉट जे एस बेसिकली uh some bunch of code which we want to debug actually uh if you open that in a browser it will look like this so if you refresh this page right so we are going to uh, is seeing the result of this execution of the javascript now we going to see how we can go step by step uh, in the debug mode and see how the execution is happening so we going to learn that in two ways meaning that uh, i am going to show you how we can debug using ja uh, vs code and then how we can debug using the chrome inbuilt uh, debugger okay fine for no j i mean uh, javascript in vs code right so generally if you want to execute uh, javascript uh, program in your laptop then you should have no js installed so inside the vs code you can click terminal and uh, new terminal it will uh, Open up the integrated terminal. Actually, so if you have Node JS installed already, uh, if you type Node hyphen V, you will see the version. And then basically, we need to give Node the file name, the JavaScript file name. Then it will basically execute the result here. So now, if you want to debug this code before even we go to the debug, right, let's try to understand what we have written here. So basically, uh, we defined a console log, just a simple console log. Then we have three functions created, but we have not yet. called the function and there is another console log and then i am calling an add function which is this one if we expand that right so we have bunch of console log and then we are inside that we are calling the function one and if you go to function one we are calling function two okay that's how the 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 code is written to to visualize the call stack and so on okay so let's try to execute in debug mode and see how it works so for that we're going to click this icon uh, debugger icon actually okay then we can see a uh, javascript debug terminal so if you click that right basically we'll get a new terminal uh, for debugging so as you can see it's a javascript debug terminal so now if you just run uh, node main dot js we won't see anything or it says debugger attached but we we don't know how to debug actually okay fine we didn't get the tools to debug so the first thing what you have to do uh, before even start debugging should set a breakpoint okay so let's set a breakpoint the first line so this is the column you can use to give a breakpoint okay so if you click it now if you run it you can see this is the simple debugger uh, tool that is given to us and it it stopped here actually okay fine we just need to use this tools to uh, go through it so let me show you a basic one like going step by step okay you can use this down arrow uh, to go step by step so let me expand everything so that we can clearly see what we're going to do okay fine so the, as soon as i press this we're going to the next line which is this why because uh, all other statements are function declaration so we have not yet called this function so it goes to this statement which is expected and then we're going to come to the add function and then when you click the same button again so it goes goes into the add function okay so this is fine we are going console log each and everything and you can see the left hand side the variables and values so say for example inside the add function the a value is 3 b value is 4 because we have passed the value from here and uh, if we go to the function 1 if we go inside the function now okay now in the bottom you can see the call stack meaning that this is the main uh, execution from there we called the add function and inside the add function we called the function 1 so currently the program is at function 1 okay that's the call stack and yeah so if we go here and let's stop here so now you know that if you press this again it's going to go into the function 2 uh, and uh, it will come here and the call stack will be added now i'm going to explain the purpose of the another uh, button here so which is called step over meaning that when you are in a function call you know that uh, you don't want to go inside the function we just go uh, just finish the function and then uh, go to the next line basically if you want to directly come from here to here instead of going inside the function to then use this okay So if you press this, as you can see, uh, the execution happened for function two, and then the call stack comes to the next immediate line. Okay, cool. So then I go back. Now the function uh, two is already finished. Function one is also going to finish now because we are in the last statement. 
and we are going back to the you now add uh, function okay so it goes on like that then yeah it is very straightforward and let me tell you okay now uh, i am here right so i want to directly okay so if you finish that uh, add also then the return statement is uh, came and then this is finished now we are here so if you go to the next line we are going in, inside a for loop and we know that loop will run for 10 times because that's why we said it but the important thing is this particular error mark goes so deep meaning that if you click, look closely first we are in the initialization statement right now we see then we are comparing whether the i is less than 10 or not yes then we go to the execution of the loop after execution we go check the increment so you can see a simple arrow mark symbol right so you can see how it is being moved then we are comparing then we are executing then we are again incrementing so that is the detailed level of debugging we can get so now i don't want to wait for everything i just want to come the, to the last statement then basically you can set a breakpoint and press the play button so the play button what is going to do so it is going to run the program until it finds the next breakpoint so if you click this we can we should directly come here and then the code the program ends okay okay now uh, we kind of uh, uh, understood the basics of debugging uh, so let me do it again we need to learn one more thing okay so we we used this button uh, it's taking some time yeah so we know the purpose of this button and this button and this button but what what is this for okay it's called step out okay so which means like say for example you have function 1 calling function 2 calling function 3 okay uh, currently you are in function 3 but you want to go back to the function 2 I mean you want to, you want to finish the function 3 and then go back to the previous function then we can use this so let's try to see so first what I'm going to do I know it will come here it will come here it will come here so I'm going to set a breakpoint uh, here okay in function 2 if you did a play button then as you can see in the call stack add we call function 1 then function 2 and then we stopped here okay so now uh, I'm going to step out of function 2 okay so if we you can look in the call stack now you have three call stack right to step out then actually we are going back to the function one so that's how the step out is being used okay so basically it's going back one call stack that is the purpose of the button yeah and then uh, there is a concept of uh, conditional uh, okay so there is a watch section meaning that throughout this journey you want to look for a particular variable okay so say for example so I want to watch uh, maybe okay uh, sum okay so currently says there is no value sum it's able to find but we, we can see the sum is defined uh, at this point so meaning that uh, if I give a breakpoint here and then uh, play yeah now you can see sum is 7 so when you can basically you can type a variable name here and if that particular variable is exist at that point in time then it will show you the result okay and you can also do some expression and so on which is like bit advanced step you can cover it later okay so now this is the crux of debugging using vs code now i'm going to show you how we can debug using chrome so it's very straightforward here is our uh, chrome window cool uh, let me refresh uh, it will again run everything no problem so if we go to the source section okay you can see that our basically our uh, code is here right so here you can set the same breakpoint thing and just give a refresh then it will stop here and then you will get same control uh, in the chrome developer tool also okay you can go step by step yeah and then you debug yeah if you want you can step out and also you can uh, set another breakpoint something like this and play the button it will come should stop here i think yeah i missed it let's refresh it's here if you do the play button yeah it comes here stops here and then you can basically go so if we click uh, another breakpoint if you click a play button then executes everything for this and then comes here yeah so that's how you can do a debugging sometimes you may not if, if it's difficult to find under the source section right there is one more clue not clue it's a method uh, you can add something called 
debugger okay there is a keyword called debugger if you use that right automatically it will be stopped so even though if i don't have this breakpoint right uh, if i refresh then automatically it will be stopped in the debugger statement okay so you can also try this so the point is inside the javascript use the word debugger then when the chrome is executing this javascript automatically it will stop and then it will give you the debugging control for you to debug okay then i think uh, that's it for this video which i want to cover uh, we just learned about uh, debugging javascript from both vs code and uh, chrome but for vs code you need node.js install that is a one dependency so i'll see you in the next video with the next concept yeah thanks for watching bye